So most AI app builders out there can make you a nice looking landing page, maybe a simple prototype, but what I'm about to show you is completely different. I just used this AI platform to build out a real application, complete with backend database, user authentication, and team collaborative features, all in less than 10 minutes. And the best part is I didn't write a single line of code. All right, so the platform we're taking a look at today is called Creo, this is it right here. And when they reached out to me about sponsoring this video, I was honestly a bit skeptical because I've tried a lot of these AI app builders in the past, and most of them can really only create basic stuff. But Creo is different. It's what they call the world's first AI native app builder designed specifically for teams. And so if you wanna follow along with me as I show you how to actually build something with this, make sure to click the first link in the description down below to get started. And what makes this different from other AI app builders is that it doesn't just generate a front end interface, it generates complete full stack applications with a real database backend, user authentication, and multi-user collaboration built right into it. And everything you build is production ready, meaning you can actually deploy it and use it to run a real business. When you first log in, your dashboard is going to look like this. You'll see a prompt box right here where you can ask questions, do a search, or actually get things done by telling it what you're looking to create. Now over here on the left, you can set up different workspaces for different projects to stay organized. We also have things like integrations. And inside of here, there's not only a lot of very common integrations that you probably expect like Google Calendar and Gmail and Google Sheets and Notion, but also we have things like perplexity search and even MCP integrations as well. In addition to that, if you come over to Marketplace, you're gonna see a lot of apps that were created using Creo by community members. So if you see anything in here that appeals to you, instead of actually having to go out and create this for yourself, you can just come in here and actually get this template so you don't have to start from scratch. For purposes of this video though, let's return back to the chat. I'm gonna go ahead and set up a new workspace. And this one is for an app I'm trying to build for gym owners to be able to keep track of all of their memberships and their finances. So I'll just call this gym membership app, go ahead and click on create workspace. And then right here in the prompt box, I'm going to describe exactly what I want to build, which is what I just described to you, a gym management app for owners. It will have things like member registration, QR access, sales, and financials. Now I'll go ahead and click on send here. And it says it's going to help me out, but actually what it recommends is that we use the app builder that's built into Creo. So in a second, that will then pop up. There we go. So what I can now do is click on this and this will open up the build new app with the prompt in here. Now notice that this is a much more fleshed out prompt than the one that I created. So it actually takes that and makes the prompt better. Down here, you can add in any integrations that you want. These are what I showed you before. So if you wanna integrate this, let's say with Google Calendar, that might make sense. You can go ahead and check that off. You could also do Gmail, Google Sheets, any of these you can go ahead and use. But for purposes of this, I don't think I need any integrations, so I'll click on Cancel. Over here on the right, you can choose what model you wanna use, either Claude Sonnet 4.5 or Claude Opus 4.5. Then once you're happy with this, just go ahead and click on Build. So here's the product brief that it's putting together for us. It's putting together the goal, all the features that it wants included. Just wants to make sure that it understands exactly what I want it to build. Reading over this, this looks perfect. So what I'll now do is click on approve, let's build. And now we can see right here that it's actually building that out. So if I wanna see the progress, I can just click on it. Over here on the left is the chat and I can see what it's doing. And over here on the right is a preview of what is being built out. It's not ready to show anything yet, so let's just give it a couple of minutes. And what's great is as it's working, it's not keeping you in the dark. You can see exactly what it's doing step by step. So instance, for instance, right here, it says now it understands the structure. It's gonna now put together the gym management application, and it's going to create a comprehensive UI with all the required features. And you can see now it's actually building out the UI for us. So that's a step that it's on. Let's give it a few minutes. We'll come back and see what it's able to make. All right, it's now complete. Check this out. Let's go ahead and make this a little bit bigger and easier to see. Go ahead and enter full screen. So this is our gym management system. And I gotta say, I'm just loving the minimal aesthetic of this. This looks really nice, but 
This is so much more than a nice looking UI because what Creo is able to make for you is a fully functional app. So let's add a member to this. I'll click on add member. Let's go ahead and enter in their name. I'll sign them up for the premium plan. Let's go ahead and start today, one month. Their contact is Jane and there's Jane's number. So now we have Paul in here. You can see they are active and they even get their own QR code for check-ins. Let's come over to check-in and here's where you can enter in the member ID to get them checked in. So let's come back to mine. Here's my member ID. I'll go ahead and copy that down, come to check-in, go ahead and put that in. So now I am checked in. That's when I came to the gym. Sales, we can see some sales information in here as well. So let's go ahead and record my sale. So we did a membership. We call this one VIP and let's say that's $99 a month and that was paid out. So there we go. That has now been paid out and coming to the dashboard, we can now see the total revenue, the total profit. That's gonna be the same as well because we don't have any expenses in there, but we can certainly add in an expense. Let's say every new customer gets a t-shirt. So we'll go ahead and throw that in there and we'll just call this one member benefits and click on add expense. So now we see that $10 expense for the cost of the t-shirt. So now our total profit for the gym is $89. So yeah, again, the point of this is that this isn't just a nice looking user interface. This is a completely usable functional app. Now, if there's anything you don't like in here, let's go ahead and exit full screen. And over here on the left, you can see the chat and you can actually iterate on this. So let's say this came out Overall, I think it's great. It's just a little bit too bland and boring because it's very minimal looking. Well, let me go ahead and describe what changes I want. So, or refine the design. So I can say something like, make this a more colorful UI, and then we can go ahead and submit that. But before I do that, I wanna show you some other things. So if you later on decide you wanna add integrations, you can go ahead and do that by clicking right here where it says add integrations. So it's not like you're, you're locked out from using or not using them if you didn't choose any when we first set it up. But let's have it make this UI a bit more colorful and we'll give it a few minutes to do that. You can see it's now working over here. While we're waiting for that to finish up, if you're enjoying this video so far, just do me a quick favor, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'm constantly testing out and reviewing all these different AI tools. So if you're interested in that, do make sure you subscribe. And then here's the new version with all the colors. Now, if there's any changes that you don't like, don't worry because Creo has full version control built in. If you click up here on the top left, you can see every version that was made for you. So this is the current one. Let's say I decide I don't like it. I can just click right here and preview it. And assuming that this is the one I now wanna restore, just go ahead and click on restore, switch version. And now we're back and none of those changes are, are now in effect. So it's not like any harm was done. So this really allows you to experiment quite a bit and gives you the full confidence to do so without worrying about actually breaking anything or making things look a lot worse than you want them to look. If you work with a team, your team can work on your project as well. You can come up to the top right here and click on share and actually invite team members. And you can really dial in exactly what restrictions you want. So only certain people would be able to do certain things with this project. And because this is a real full stack application with a proper database, multiple people can be using this at the same time. Changes sync in real time. It's just like using something like Google Docs, but for custom business applications. So there you have it. I just built a complete business application in under 10 minutes using nothing but natural language. No coding required. And this isn't just a prototype. This is a production ready app with a real database, team collaboration, AI assistance, and even integration with Claude if that's what I wanted to do. If you wanna try Creo for yourself, click that first link down below in the description. They have a free plan to get you started so you can start building your first app today. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.